Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody asked how they could turn their text red and have no line. Well, I was just going to answer them, but then I started thinking I'm going to add a little bit to this and make it worth a video. Mm -hmm. If you want that text red, you just go right up here and left click red, and your text will be red. Now, there is no line in a normal text if your settings are set for default. If you want a line, then you right click. So I started thinking, let's say a laser engraver would never type in red all the time. But let's say you're a graphic designer and you're doing tree shirts and you want your text to be red all the time. You can go up to text and open text properties. Now with nothing selected, that's a key. Go right here to, to uniform fill and go to red. And when you click that, you come up with the change the document default to artistic text and hit OK. Now, every time you type text, let me make my bigger. Every time you type text, it will be read. But I started thinking, and you could always save it as default and Somebody told me just the other day that you don't always have to do this, but I always do it. I save as default, and it kind of seals the deal for me. But let's say for a laser engraver, and you're going to do a lot of welding of text, and you don't want the feel because you want to see what it looks like welded. So again, with nothing selected, and that's the key, press no feel, artistic text, okay. Go down to this right here, which is really outline width, which is none, and pick hairline, and you can actually make it red. Let's back up here. Make this hairline, and well, I guess you have to do them one at a time, artistic text, and then make it red, because I like, a red would be a cut line, and I like drawing in red. It's going to ask you the question again. So now, when you type, the line, you're just going to get hairline. This would be very, very beneficial. In some cases, I wouldn't have it as my default. But if you were going to do a lot of text, because it's too easy just to, to uh, fill it in, take away the line, take away the fill, fill it in. And I'm just left, -click, left clicking on the X, which means none, and right clicking on the color I want. And if you forget which button's which, your fill is on your left down here, and your outline is on your right. So this is your left mouse button. This is your right mouse button. So this would be very beneficial to write if you had a bunch to write. And if you this is all you did was uh, weld letters together. And, well, let's just use the original one. And you wanted to take a put them all together on a line. Now, you still need to take, you see, I've got, I'm writing in red. And let's just nudge it. Well. Let me change my nudge distance to 0.25 and nudge this line up. Now you still need to convert your text to a curve. So go up to arrange and convert to curve. And then you can grab it all and weld it together. And then you have that all one piece is welded together. So you can make it red just by left clicking red. Now this does have an outline. So you would right click no outline and then when you take away the fill there well in this particular case there's still an outline because I I guess I welded it maybe I wasn't on it there take away the outline and there's our fill so I hope that answered their question and thank you for watching